I'm Savitri Vistanathan, and I'm one of the two B teachers. I co teach with Sister Sneha. The co theme for our class is the elements, and for today's presentation, we have four students. We have with us Hamsini, Sarina, Ajanish, and Biham. Thank you. Are you feeling bad about your sister? Actually, no. I'm glad I stood up for myself. But that impacted my mind, so I couldn't do my homework. Ajanish, do you know something? When you fight with someone, when you fight with someone, you lose your inner peace, and that brings a lot of agitation to your mind. Your inner mind is agitated. You cannot focus on anything else. You're exactly right. My name is the soldier friend. I can see it. Well, how do I fix it? I mean, do you remember we discussed this in our SSC class? Swami says when we get angry, it clouds off our mind, and we end up in a situation where we are not able to think clearly. We end up reacting to the situation rather than responding to it. So it is very important to calm our mind. There is four strategies to doing this. The first one is to drink a glass of water. The second one is to leave the place or seat so our mind doesn't wrap around what happened. The third one is to look into a mirror and have a self talk. The fourth one is to lie down so our body is resting and that helps us calm our mind. You're right. I like the method of looking in the mirror and having a self talk. Adinish is trying to have a self talk. This time he used the word with which he used. To scold his sister. Wow, I couldn't believe I scolded my sister with these kind of words. They were hurtful. When I reflected on my expression, I felt awful. I knew it was just for a toy, but even then, I shouldn't have let out such words. Oh, Ajanish, I'm so glad that you were feeling better. Self talk is one of the strategies to help us reflect on what we do. Maybe we all have, should have a self-talk and understand what is happening inside our head. When our head is clear of bad thoughts, I think it calms our mind and helps us think clearly. Thank you for reminding me of what we spoke in the SSC class. Most of the time, we don't know what we're doing. That's the main problem. We have, I couldn't think you enough. Sorry, Ron. We are grateful for Swami, for he is always a constant reminder. Sarah, let's go on to the other topic, integrity and courage. Serena, I'm uh, Sarah, I'm Sarah, I'm Serena. Serena, I really like the topic we discussed in SSC class about integrity and courage. You know, integrity is about doing things even when no one is watching. Courage is about doing things even when you are afraid to do that. To show integrity and courage is very important. It helps you face your fears. I know it's all good to hear, but it's so difficult to practice. You know, many times I get in trouble because I don't have the courage to face things. I'm afraid that people will judge me, or maybe I would do things badly. It's embarrassing, you know. So you know, we must always remember two very important things. One, am I making a role? And two, do I appear the consequences? Thank you, huh? For example, if you're driving a car, if you don't understand and break the rules of the road, you could end up in an accident or being caught by the police. Another example is, if you're writing a test at school, the most important rule is to prepare for the test by studying so that you can write your test with confidence. Similarly to showing integrity, we must always understand the third thing. Swami is omnipresent and he knows everything. When we apply Swami's grace, we can acquire courage, and with courage, we can acquire integrity, apply integrity in everything we do. Thank 
you, Hamsini. That is very true. The experiment we did in class today, that's a great example. I would like to show everybody here. Jason. 